Hey guys, Kevin here. A few days ago I did a video where I showed you some suggestions as to how you can set up your smartphone and how you can use it for vlogging etc. Now I recommend checking that out because I do go into things a little bit more detail but I wanted to just quickly show you a setup that I'm doing and I think this is important because YouTube live streaming has just been released and it'll be going out to everyone soon. At the moment it's only 10,000 subscribers but it will be released to everyone very soon. So, one of the things that I said in my video was that uh, you can use this kind of setup, right? Now, I showed you a couple of different setups. You can use brackets, and to be honest, I'm, I'm not a big fan of using brackets. I think it's a little bit uh, complicated. Now, this is one of the things that I said you could do with this setup, and I can show you here. You can see I've got the selfie stick on the back. Now, it seemed like that would be a good idea because when you tighten it all up, it seems okay, but in practice, that's what happens. I think maybe if you had a better selfie stick that would maybe work, but it doesn't really work that well. So what I'd like to do is show you a better setup that I've got, and I think this really works well, and it's really, really cheap to set up, so for very little money you can get a really cool smartphone uh, vlogging setup, and use a really good microphone with it, and you can get really good YouTube videos, really good videos in general, using this setup. Okay, I'll show you what it is just now. Okay, so this is the setup. Looks very similar, but there's a few key differences. I'll just kind of walk you around what I've got here. The very top, I've got my Shure VP83. Very good microphone, retails at a few hundred dollars, but you can use something like the Rode Video Micro, which is what I'm using there. And underneath I've got a ball head, then I've got a mobile phone holder, I've got my phone. I've got another small uh, ball head there, if you can see it. Another small ball head there. And then underneath I've got my tripod. Now I could use, you know, like a bendy tripod, which might be a little bit more suitable because you can, you know, bend this one around different positions. It gives you a little bit more flexibility. I like this one though because it's, you know, it's really, really solid. Plus it also has a ball head of its own. Oh, see? So by moving that around, I can put it at an angle like that. Move it around really really secure you know you just have to tighten everything up and this is actually how I recorded my video yesterday I did a quick review of a retro camera app and this is how I filmed it this is exactly how I filmed it I was sitting on the couch and I had it like this and then I was just using the screen like that it works really well and um, I mean I'm going to my girlfriend's to, uh, today and, and normally what I do is I'll take my RX100 I'll take my audio recorder I'll take lots of other things but today I'm just tempted to take this so that if I've got an idea of recording a video, I'll just use my phone. You know, as I said, I'm trying to do more uh, vlogs, uh, more recording through my phone. And I'm trying to get a better setup. Now, you can, of course, get a gimbal, spend a lot of money on a gimbal. But this is a very, very cheap setup. Now, disregard the smartphone, disregard the microphone. You know, you can spend as little or as much as you want on a microphone. The Rode Video Micro only costs like forty pounds, forty-five pounds or something. You can, or you know, same in America, like fifty dollars. It's very, very cheap. This one's a little bit more. It's a few hundred dollars, but the principle is the same. What I've got here is a little ball head here. Look, this one's very, very common. If you check Amazon and eBay for ball head, you will see this exact model. It's got a hot shoe at the bottom, so it's quite flexible, and it's not the best ball head. It's quite. It's quite weak actually and it's you know it's, it's probably the weakest part of this setup I'd like to replace this but this was 99 pence this was 79 pence or like less than a dollar from Asia and the second one was 79 pence so the tripod is actually a, well semi-decent tripod it's like 25 pounds in the UK but the the two little ball heads and the mobile phone holder are less than three dollars less than three dollars so if you have a tripod if you've got a smartphone and you've already got a microphone then for three dollars you can set up this rig it's pretty good as i said i could improve this setup quite a bit and i think the key way to improve it would be to replace these ball heads with something that's a little bit more secure these feel like um you know they're not the strongest in the world but i don't feel like my phone is going to fall uh, is going to fall out i feel like it's quite secure as I said, if I do want to tilt it more, all I have to do is get this ball head here, you know, and then I can move it around like that. I think it's quite good, and I'm quite pleased with this. And uh, just to 
explain as well, I didn't notice this earlier, this is a, a TRS to TRRS connection cable from Rode. So that's another thing you'll need if you're going to be using a good microphone. So that cost, I think that was about £8 or maybe £10, I'm not sure. You can get them cheap though from Asia, uh, you know, get them from China for like a dollar or two. I just decided to go with a brand name and to bonus it was a mistake because this is really thin and cheap make uh, anyway. So, hope oh, you've enjoyed this guys. Just, just thought I'd uh, show you this because I don't like the bracket setup. I think this is much, much better and this is what I'm going to be using if I'm vlogging in the house. Doesn't have a stabilizer, doesn't have anything like that, but if you're just standing like this and you're just holding like this or you just want to film something, I, th I think this is really good. So I hope this gives you some ideas. Please do check out my other video because that will tell you more about the, you know, like the little tripod uh, connection there, which you can get like four for like a dollar. So that's something else. It's still under three dollars. It's very, very cheap to buy. Um, but refer back to my other video because I, I speak about that in more detail. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Hope I've given you an idea about how you can vlog yourself. And uh, you know, I'm sure you'll find it useful if you're vlogging. Just want to record videos on YouTube. Leave me any questions you've got below and until next time, thanks for watching guys.